Now, we're all fans of the humble drum sander, faithful sanding friend that helps our guitars take shape, but there comes a time when you look down at your favourite sanding sleeve, whichever size that may be. So I like uh, my three inch one, and the one and a half inch sizes that you can see here, but you notice that isn't quite as healthy as it used to be. You know, it's that sheen to it, it's smoother than it really ought to be, and sanding's become a bit of a chore. But you can't find single sleeves, so to replace it, you have to buy a pack of all the different sizes, which is expensive and pretty wasteful. So I'm here to tell you that it doesn't need to be that way. I've come up with a neat little system that gives me all the sleeves I need, for whichever sizes and grips I need them, for a fraction of the cost. So the first thing we need to do is take a closer look at our old sanding sleeve and that will show you that it's made of two pieces. One piece is the actual sandpaper and the other is a woven fabric backer. And the first thing we need to do is separate them as carefully as we can and they should come apart quite easily. The important part for us is the woven backing. So here are two pieces from a three inch sleeve that I've already split. Um, so the sandpaper piece there can be thrown away and we need to keep the woven liner so the next thing we need is a piece of MDF or plywood that you can lay the backer onto and I've used 9mm MDF here now if we use the sandpaper to make our template you'll find that the fit on the drum is very loose and that's no fun at all so that's why we throw it with our liner all we do is then trace our shape onto the MDF and cut it out something like the one I've here so we can then take our roll of sandpaper and use our template to mark out and cut the sandpaper to shape I've also the template for the one inch drum which means less waste and it's a good idea now to get your rubber sanding drum and do a test wrap of the paper so we know which way to wrap it when we move to the next step okay so we start with the point and run the short side around the top of the drum and the sandpaper will coil around the drum. So we start with the tip there and we just run the short side along the top and as we go around we can see that this orientation is correct because it starts to roll around the drum like that and there you get a, a full covering on the drum like so. So there's our test fit. Once we have the shape cut out and we know our wrapping orientation we need to use a good quality tape and run a strip the full length of one of the long edges overlapping the tape by half its width. We then carefully take the sandpaper strip and starting at the point like we did before we begin to wrap it firmly around the sanding drum. Try to keep the edge of the tape as close together as you can as you wrap. Eventually you'll finish your wrap and the sleeve should sit snugly on the drum. Now you may need to do a little bit of trimming with a sharp blade uh, if it's slightly too wrong, but now it's good to use. So we just pop the drum on the spindle as normal and tighten the nut until there's just enough friction to hold the sleeve firm. And boom, there we have a cheap an effective replacement for all your favourite sanding sleeve sizes and the happy-go-lucky guitar maker can make dust to the heart's content.